From the slope above the cemetery of the Ayup district, it's possible to overlook the entire city. On the other side of the Golden Horn Bay, the Bayoglu district belongs to Europe. Pierre Loti was a well-known French writer of the last century, who traveled the world as a naval officer and became the creator and master of modern exotic literature. He was a member of the French Academy, and besides novels, he also published travel logs. He was captivated by the fabulous East. And wrote several guidebooks and novels on Turkey. His house in Istanbul is a pleasant cafe today. Its contemporary furniture was partly inherited from Loti, and is partly the furnishings of a traditional Turkish cafe. The tourists visit this place not only to pay homage to the writer or to enjoy the excellent coffee, but because there's a beautiful panoramic view from the terrace. Beautiful new subdivisions were developed using replicas of traditional wooden houses. The name Bosporus means cow shallows. According to the legend, Io, the love of Zeus, was turned into a cow by the jealous Hera, and this was the place where Io swam across. The 32-kilometer-long Bosporus connects the Black Sea and the Marble Sea. Its width ranges from 660 to 3,300 meters. The Persian king Darius had troops at Rumeli, Hisari. Where the water is the shallowest, this is where, in 1096, the soldiers of the First Crusade crossed. It's surprising that while the European side is busy and noisy, suffering from traffic jams and smog, the Asian side is abundant in green areas. It's quiet, calm, and intimate. The European old town is the center of the economy, industry, and commerce, and most people only come here to work. The fresh air residential areas and family houses of the Asian side are much better to live in. 